Hey everyone, Maya here from My Storybook and welcome back to today's interactive read aloud. Today I have a very fun story called Pairs of People where we will be doing some counting together. I'll need your help to count some numbers and we will be talking about ways to spread goodness and kindness and I am so excited to hear all your ideas as we read this story together and to have you count along and read with me. All right my friends so this is going to be a very fun read aloud where I am going to need lots of your help. So double thumbs up if you are ready to get started. Excellent. Let's begin. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is Pairs of People. Now a pair, my friends, means two. So if I have a pair of socks, I have two socks. If I have a pair of apples, I have how many apples? Two. Pairs are things that come in two. What other pairs or things that come in two can you think of? Yes. Oh, and there's even some on your face. You have a pair of eyes, two eyes. You have a pair of ears, two ears, even a pair of nostrils, two nostrils on your nose. There are lots of pairs on our body, pairs of hands, pairs of feet, and all over the place. Right, my friends? So pairs of people mean groups of two people. So remember that two pair means two. So pairs of people by Jean and Mark K. Schreiber. So those are our authors who wrote the book. And it's illustrated by Laura Watson. So the illustrator is the one who does what? Draws all the pictures. Our author writes the words, illustrator draws the pictures. Speaking of, let's go ahead and take a look at this cover. What do you notice on the cover? Right? I see some pairs of people. I see two people right here. And I can kind of tell they're pairs because they're matching a bit, right? They're in the same color, purple, and these two look like they're matching. I got these two, these two. And what are these people doing, these pairs of people? All sorts of things, huh? Over here in the corner, it says a book on multiplying goodness. So it's going to be something about goodness. Multiplying means to make something bigger. So a book of more goodness, making more good things. Hmm. And let's go ahead and see. Can you tell me, my friends, real quick, how many people in all together do you see on this cover? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are four pairs of people, one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair. All together, that is eight people in all. Some of you might have even noticed there's a pair of duckies up here. All right, let's get started. So here's our title page. It has the title of our book, Pairs of People, our author and illustrator, and a publisher down here for you to be books in media. Okay, my friends, if I take a look right here, what season does it look like or what kind of weather do you notice? Yes, I see some snow. It might be winter time. And I see a number right here. What number is that? A one. One pair of people decides to work together. They help a neighbor clear the walk in the snowy weather. <gasps> I hear some rhyming words. Together. Weather. They sound the same at the end. And so these people are being very kind. And they're helping clear the sidewalk so they can walk. So one pair of people. And I see right here. So one pair of people is how many people all together? One, two. One pair is two people. Right here it says one pair equals two people. So there are two people right here clearing the sidewalk. Hmm, what other activities do you see going on in the background? Yeah, what do you like to do when it snows? So fun. I see a new number here and that is the number two. If I notice down here too, it also gives me a clue of what is going on. There are now two pairs of people who see a dog in trouble. Uh-oh, what are they doing? They safely move her from the street. She was running around in the street. Sometimes I see that in my neighborhood, my friends. Do you see dogs sometimes running around in the street? Why is that dangerous? They could get hit by a car or maybe an accident might happen, right? They safely move her from the street. Now the help is double. So they see a dog in trouble. Now the help is double because there's two pairs of people. And if I have two pairs of people, my friends, let's see. I have these two people helping. So that's one. Two and these two, three, four. Two pairs of people are 
four people. And right here, I can see them. One, two, three, four. We even count down here. Three pairs of people can do a little more. They help their school custodian sweep and clean the floor. More and floor rhyme. And now I have three pairs of people. How many people is that, my friends? Well, we can count them. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people all together are helping clean the floor. And they're not only helping clean the floor. What else are they doing? My friends, do you ever help clean at school? What are some things you do to help clean at school? Oh, uh, that sounds very helpful. All right, four pairs of people. I want you to be thinking, my friends, how many people are four pairs of people? Four pairs of people work side by side. They tutor, they help friends who need some help and foster a sense of pride. So tutors, when you help others learn, because maybe you know a little bit more about something than them, and you're going to help teach them so that they can learn too. So if there are four pairs of people, that's how many people all together? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can see all the different activities. How are they helping their friends? And what's the way that you have helped your friends, my friends? Oh, that sounds helpful. Five pairs of people. Can you hold up a big five like a high five? Five pairs of people garden for endless hours, growing goodness for all to share by, by planting veggies and flowers. <gasps> Oh, my friends, look at their garden. What do you notice in their garden? And do you have anything growing in your backyard or around your neighborhood, my friends? Or do you garden? Wow. All right, let's see. Five pairs of people. Let's see what they're doing. Well, I can see these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down here, it also shows us, right? One pair, two pair, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs is ten people all together. Five groups of two is 10 people all together. We are doing some multiplication, my friends. That's some pretty big math. Six pairs of people support civic connection. So connecting throughout the city and the town, they spread the word all over town about this year's election. So they are going to be voting for people to help them make rules and decide things in where they live. So some ways that you can help encourage people to vote for people who can help them make decisions or you hang up signs right you put up posters your vote counts you encourage people to vote with stickers and stamps and little pins okay but how many people is that yes six pairs of people that's let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, and I was just counting the people who look like they're together and matching, my friends. And down here, I can double check, right? I can count all these little people in these squares. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 people all together. Seven pairs of people offer hope for those in jail, raising money for some books at the village sale. So if sometimes when people are in jail, my friends, they... Find some things to do by reading, and one way to help is to send them books for them to read while they are in there. So these people are raising some money to buy books to send to people who are in jail, because unfortunately they don't have a library in jail or a bookstore, so they have to have people send them some books. And this is one way to share some reading with people who can't access it, can't have it, right? Oh my goodness, so look at all the different ways they're raising money. It looks like they're selling some things. What are they selling? Yes. Oh my gosh, so many things. Candles, honey, what would you like to buy? All right, so seven pairs of people are, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen people all together. Seven times two, if you want to do multiplication, is fourteen. Now we have eight pairs of people work hard until it's dark. They support their community by tending the local park. So they're gonna keep their neighborhood nice by fixing and cleaning the park. What are some different activities you notice that they're doing to help clean the park in the community? So many helpful things, right? They're painting the fence, they're cleaning the sandbox, they are watering the plants, playing together. So helpful. And eight pairs of people is a lot of people. So you can notice that these 
kind things that they are doing are getting bigger because there's more of them to help out. Eight pairs of people is 16 people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh boy, let's see what these nine pairs of people know. It's hard to live alone. They joyfully come together to fix their neighbor's home. So if that is so kind of a neighbor needs help, you know, it is so hard to fix the house all by yourself. So all these other people, nine pairs of people, are going to come out. And how do you notice they are helping this neighbor? Yeah, how would you help your neighbor if they needed help with their house? That would be so helpful. I noticed them painting, washing the windows, planting the garden, sharing some food, mowing the lawn. Nine pairs of people, so how many people is that actually helping, my friends? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And if some of you can count by twos, my friends, let's go ahead and give that a try. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eight. People. Ten pairs of people! Let's see what they're doing! What does it look like is going on? That looks like a bicycle race? Ten pairs of people help athletes keep the pace. They volunteer and celebrate at the Best Buddies race. So they have a race. They're going to help cheer people on, volunteer to help them celebrate when they win, cheer them on, motivate people. That's so kind. Maybe, my friends, have you ever been in a race before or watched a race? What was your favorite part about it? Yes. So, it's really fun if you know someone in a race to go and make signs and cheer them on. Or if you're in the race and you know it feels really good when people cheer you on. So, ten pairs of people. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty people all together. Ten pairs of people is twenty people. We are filling up our rows. It looks like we have 11 pairs now. And 11 pairs of people wade into the mud. They rescue friends and clean the mess from an unexpected flood. So if you have a disaster or something bad happening in your community, it's important for all of you to help. What are all the different ways all these pairs of people are helping? So many things to notice, right, my friends? Helping fix the trees, get the cars out if the people are hurt, helping them, scooping out the water. Oh my goodness, so many different ways. How would you help if there was a flood? That'd be kind. It's 11 pairs of people. Let's count by twos if you can do that. Follow along. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, two people all together helping and we just filled up our row my friends 12 pairs of people make meals for those in need they like to work together so that everyone can succeed so this is another super helpful thing to do for people who don't have enough food that they can go to a food kitchen and they have food for them there so that everyone is able to stay healthy and not be hungry right how do you see some people helping here? Helping serve the food, helping clean up after people eat, right? Helping make the food in the kitchen, helping people sign in, telling, showing them where to sit. So many volunteers. And I notice, notice, and I notice all the volunteers are wearing green, that green color. <laughs> my friends, you can volunteer in a food kitchen too. That would be very helpful. So 12 pairs of people, my friends. How many people is that? Well, let us count. We'll count by ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 12 groups of two people is 24 all together. 12 times 2 is 24. Wait a minute. What is this? What if there were 50 pairs of people working together as one? What positive difference could they make? What goodness could be done? So you notice, my friends, with each page, the more and more people who help, the bigger amount of things they were able to do. They could help people if there was a flood, a disaster. They could help 
feed so many people. They were able to help people and celebrate them when they won a race. So many different things they're able to do. What if there are 50 pairs of people? So 50 groups of two people. What could you do if you had that many people helping? What's something really big and really good you could do with a lot of people? It is amazing to hear all your ideas. Wow, well, here they are, all these people. 50 pairs, my friends. Look at all that counting we would do. 50 pairs is 100 people. If you had 50 pairs of people, if you had 100 people, look, they're all here to celebrate working together, being a community. If you had 100 people, what could you do with 100 people? They could do a lot of good. Yeah. The end. Uh, not the end of this book is my friends. It's cool. If you want to check out this book for yourself to practice your own counting and to talk about all the kind and good things that you saw. And at the end, you can make a little certificate for you where it says my name is, my buddy's name is, because there's two of you a pair. And together we will, what are you going to do to make a difference in your community? Wow, what a fun book about counting, math, the multiplication, but also about all these different ways to share goodness in your community and all the different ways that you could make a difference just by working together. All you need, my friends, really is a pair, another person to help you out. You can even do it on your own. But if you can see, the more people you have, even the more you can do, the bigger difference you can make. But all it takes is one, one person to start it and one person to make a difference. All right, my friends, so I hope you enjoy this interactive read aloud. You can check it out and learn more on my blog, which I will link down below. Also, if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, check out those to see some more fun ideas and more fun things about this story. All right. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed reading with me. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of our interactive read alouds. Otherwise, my friends, until next time. Happy reading.